Hey guys, what's up? Myself Supreme Swastu and today I'm going to tell you how to run Windows 7 on an Android device. So previously I shown you how to run Windows XP on an Android device. I was using a Bose emulator that is an x86 emulator for Android device that is using for the running of Windows operating system over the Android. And this is the pro uh, beta project and it is still developers working on it. So you will not getting the very very smooth Windows 7 experience but you will get the Windows 7 on an Android device. So one more thing I would like to tell you that the speed out of Windows 7 that you are going to get is much more faster than the Windows XP that I already shown in the my previous video. So the same step I am going to follow for the Windows 7 but here I don't I don't have a uh, small thing that I just turn every th every computer works for you and you don't need to go to your computer and do the QB manager and all the stuff that I shown in the Windows XP. I already uh, did that and I will provide you the SDL folder in the description. You will can download the SDL folder in the link from the description and you can download the Bose simulator from the description. Hey guys, so I am on the my Android phone. So you have to download all the things that I am going to given you in the description. So download it and when the you click on the downloads, it will open like this, the SDL folder. So you have to download this ADB and when the download process complete, Go to the file location where the ADB is stored. You see downloads, you can see and I extracted the adb.zip with using the WinRAR and you can see that it has the HDL folder and uh, there is an uh, APK of both simulator. So what you have to do is you have to copy the HDL to your internal storage. So you can see that I already did it. There is a HDL folder. You can see there is HDL folder. And you will see that there is a dot ISO form file whose size is almost 583 MB. So this is the ISO of Windows 7 that is going to be run on your Android device. And here you see the Bose SRC dot text. Click on the this, click on the just ones, open it with any text editor. And here you can see that I provided the RAM it 1 GB. So you can cheat it according to your phone specification. If you have a very high end specification phone. You can change it to 2 GB RAM and if it is lower you can change it into 512 MB RAM also. So when you open it you will see that there is the size of the RAM that is defaultly saved in it is 291 MB. So I like to tell you that you can run it on that RAM also but the speed will not going to work. So the changing in the speed when you, I changing the RAM is not a very very large you will get a just a small fast processing so i'm not going to change it just done it and save and close and come back to my home screen i'm going to run the Bose simulator as you can see that is starting and it's saying that booting from cd rom and 583 mb media detected so it detected that there is an iso file and it is starting up the window it will boot up in the normal windows 7 as booting up uh, as i already told you that it is in a beta project and you have to wait when the booting process will complete so for my it takes almost uh, one to one and a half hour to boot up you can see that it's booting up uh, let the windows sign starting windows starting sign pop up you can see it's opening up and if you are interested to run windows 10 or 8.1 you can follow the same steps and just put that out iso file of the windows 8.4 or windows 10 and just try the same things and open the post simulator i hope you will get the windows 10 also run on your android device so you can see uh, you can see that it's saying that starting windows so let me back when the booting process will complete. So guys you can see that it's windows is starting up and it's booting up and from here it also takes so much time. You have to wait, you have to have a patience. So you can see that it's booting up and don't worry about the the terms, the codes that is coming from uh, left side of your screen. It will be go away from the windows fully boot up. So you can see it's booting up and one more thing I like to tell you that my device is Asus Zenfone 2 JD551ML 
and its RAM is 4 GB and its processor is 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel processor and still it's you can see that it is taking so much time. The reason behind it that it is it, it is in a beta project and the developers is still working on it. So it does not matter what is the, your device whether it is like Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or a OnePlus 3 having the 6 GB of RAM. You will get that uh, speed on the same that device. So you can see that it's still booting up. So let me back when the booting process will complete. So guys, you can see that it's really booting up and it may take some time from here also. And so have patience and wait for it to complete. It will boot up at its normal Windows 7 booting up. And as I saw, as I told you already that it is in the beta project and it is still working on it. So we have to wait when it's in its boot up process. And one more thing I like to tell you that when it boot up fully, you will very very ms to see that its speed is very very good as comparison to the window XP I already shown you in the previous video. So let's take a look on it when the booting process will be complete. Let me back then. Hey guys, now you can see that the Windows 7 is fully boot up and it shows everything that normally boot Windows shown. Here you can see there is computer, there is network, control panel and there is an already installed 7G file manager and there is an also an software Win7 Pair and you can see that there is a start menu at the bottom left and there is the time and date showing at the bottom right so i can uh, i'm going to show you that the speed of the windows 7 personally i am very very interested very very surprised because the windows xp speed is so much slow and the windows 7 is working very very fine in comparison to windows xp so let me tell you how to control it to move the cursor you just have to swipe your finger over your screen as you can see that as i'm swiping left the cursor is moving the left side and if you want to select anything so let me know you that you can do it by using your volume button so volume up button is acting like a mouse left click and the volume down working like a mouse right click so when i go to start and i click on the my the volume up button you can see that it's opening the start menu as you can see that so as i already told you this project is in working and you will not get a very very fluent speed of windows 7 on android phone but at least you will get it run on your android phone if you are a phone lover and want to know uh, how is your phone going to do this just follow the my tutorials my steps and you will get windows 7 on android device and one more thing I like to tell you that I personally tested it on the uh, custom rooms uh, like CM13 and let me know you that the CM13 booting it very quickly uh, as I tested it on the window XP when I using the window, uh, custom room Sanjan mode 13 on the, my phone and try to open the window XP by using the Bose simulator it booting up in almost 5 to 10 minutes and um, when I just get back to my asus system and trying to booting up the windows xp using bo simulator and what i'm finding that it is booting up almost one to half one and half hour it's taking so much time while booting up the systems files provided by the companies so if you're interested to get a speed of the windows booting up you can try the custom rooms like a uh, cm13 as i already told you so as you can see that everything is going to working very good and you can see that there is also showing the type of the typing sign and if you are interested to run it you can add a mouse and a keyboard to your device to android device by using an a cable and 
let me of the start menu i just off the start menu and you can see that it may take some time to closing the start menu uh, let me show you the my computer as you can see when i click on the volume button it select the computer and when i click the volume down button it takes like a mouse right button and it's open the option that's normally showing in the window and i am going to open it let's see what's going on let's see what will happen and i click it on the open i really don't testing it tested it earlier because uh it is taking so much time to boot up uh personally i tell you that my android phone are just taking it almost to one hour to booting up and i don't know what is the reason behind it because the cm13 working very very well but i removed it because of some bugs there in cm13 uh you can see that windows explorer is opening the my computer if you are interested to do this and if you are interested to make it run faster you can try the many other things like you can change the .txt folder and the stl zip and change the ram size and one more thing that when you increase the ram size over the 1500 mb or 16 almost there the boss emulator crashes down so be sure to be lower than the 1500 or 1600 because you will not get a boss emulator run on your device device it will crash so you can see that window explorer is opening and one more thing then uh this is not a very very stable uh if you using very very so much then it will crash it automatically to your android menu uh later you can see that it's opening let's see what is showing i am too excited that whether it is showing my internal storage as a local disk c or external let's see where it is installed yeah one more thing that in my internal storage there is not so much space i think it's only 1 to 2 gb free so if you want to run it faster you can also try it you can just clean up your internal storage and make it uh, almost like 5 to 10 gb free and i think so i think personally believe that it will make run faster than this and if you still you want to run it faster you can just i tell you already that you can try the custom source like cm13 as you can see that it's booting up it's sorry it's opening um let it open let it open yeah it's showing computer there so i don't think so that there is not any changes going on here yeah i so see that there is saying searching for items it's searching for the partition of my disk let's see what is going to show and otherwise it takes so much time i will close it up and one more thing i want to tell you that just try to shut down your windows 7 from the start menu when you closing up after it uses because it will boot it up you when you next time open the boss limiter into the repair mode and i don't think so there is any solution for that thing so you can think uh, see that uh it's saying that window uh, processor x86 family 5 model 3 stepping 3 and i just changes the ram to 1 gb in my dot text file in the stl and you can see that it's showing window 7 r square device with removal storage uh you can see that uh it's recently changed there is i uh, if you are thinking that why the windows 7 interface is just like a windows 95 in the my windows that it is opening up so let me know you that it's changing its, its appearance according to the uh, system so you know that it's not a fully pc or there is not any a high processor any high ram in it is just in on a beta process and is still developers working on it so there are not so many time left when we all will get windows on our android phone so wait for it i hope it will come soon i am personally very excited for it i just want to to play gta 5 on it <laughs> and feeling dude it will not going to work so you can see that it open up
and here you can see that it's 646 MB size of CD drive and only 62.9 MB of free so I think that it's showing about uh, the HDL folder I think so where I put it the Windows 7 image so it's like a normal Windows 7 you can see it's showing everything uh, you can see that it's working so fluently right now uh, you can use the mouse for using it uh, let me use my volume up button for left click of the mouse and you can see it's going to minimize and it may take some more time yeah it's, you can see it's minimized so hope you guys like my video and I will give in the li link of the downloads that will need for this process to go and work on your device so check out my descriptions and if you are interested to run Windows XP on Android device you can check out my channel uh, here, we, you, here you will get uh, there you will get the Windows XP on Android and uh, let me firstly shut down it you can see I am going to start volume up button and go to shut down Uh, here is not any support of uh, audio driver so don't hope that you will get uh, some sounds from it and any internet connection also there is not going to work you can see i shut it down it so guys that's it uh, thanks for watching my video and if you have any questions any queries just comment down below i will answer you there and Please thumbs up to me and comment down as I told you already and one more thing please please subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot so thanks for watching bye bye take care good day